It's Table Talk Time! I'm Elle, and I play Meg, and she plays Katori. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm Jen. I play Callum, who plays Celestia. I'm, I'm going next because it was one, two, three, four. Mm. Uh, we never have a smooth intro. the anti-clockwise direction. No, it wasn't okay. an anti-clockwise. Well, it was lady I, will, no, I was <laughs> just, <laughs> just to confirm everyone. Uh, uh, Murray rolled a six, as for our tradition. I rolled a ten, which six. means I go first. And I'm Dave, who is the GM, and I'm most known for playing Gideon, 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 and Gideon. Mm. Don't forget Gideon. Gideon. Now it's your turn, Murray. I'm Murray, if you had not deduced that. (laughs) And I play Melvin, who plays Oswald. And today, we're playing Call to Quest. We're actually at episode eight. You probably know that by now. You're listening in. But if you're new, uh, well, guess what? We've got some stuff for you. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some stuff. This is a role play that is all based in the 80s where we basically inhabit the world of some nostalgic kids playing a D&D like game called Gateway Roleplay mm-hmm. as they also explore the game world as their fantasy characters, which is all pretty swell. And tonight we have a sponsor. Yay! Hey, sponsor. Yay! We have a sponsor which is Legend Keeper and Legend <gasps> Keeper, which I can show you. Who's that? Is actually the campaign management tool that I use for Call to Quest and will be using from now on. I actually have my own subscription to this separate. (laughs) Um, So we reached out to Legend Keeper and uh, wanted to spread the word and work with Legend Keeper and they're being very lovely and sponsoring us. But I wanted to show you what Legend Keeper is. I've previously used campaign management tools in the past And for me, they weren't a great fit long term. Felt a little bit too much like building a website, felt a little bit too in your face. And I found Legend Keeper. So I went digging for a good campaign management tool. Legend Keeper, I love because it is UI out of the way. It's really smooth, Mm -hmm. really slick, and really easy to operate for someone who's super visual and likes to work on the go. I'll show you what I mean by that. I made this map. Show us. I made a map. This is the map of Call to Quest. So if I zoom in to the map, I can put all these pins here. All these pins, I have different icons, different backgrounds. So I can just like add one. Again, like this island. We can create a page, create from template, create a map, create a board. So I can link to another map. I can link to a board, which is like a flow this? chart. Did you design the land? I did. I yeah, made the made land. That. I made That's the so land. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I can create a page right off the bat. The island of I worm. can change like the icon. <laughs> I can do it all live. So I can go like this is the purple island. And then we can grab of law of justice. And this is called justice Justice. for Gabe (laughs) Island. Mm -hmm. And that's there. And then this is an article and I can fill it out and do stuff. But you know what? If we want to talk about a character, like for example, Gideon, we add it and it will link directly to the article. (laughs) Let me show you how that actually looks, which is super (laughs) easy. So we're going to have a look at Tide Turn Tower. I don't want to spoil anything, so we're going to go somewhere we've already been. Uh I can open up up an article and using a super simple template. I love this template. Uh, You basically fill out all your information. So I can put my description, Mm -hmm. my occupation. They have tabs in here and you can make these as simple or as detailed as you want. So for me, this is the perfect amount. So I can have my images and I can link some notable NPCs. So if I uh, hover over Gideon Iron back here, <laughs> Ooh, what's this? We've got a little Age character reveal. profile. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Gideon. It's and him, the man. It, the and myth. also one of the really cool things Legend. with Legend Keeper, I, will, I, could, I could gush about Legend Keeper because I do love using it, is um, you can also share it. So it's got unlimited mm-hmm. storage, heaps of shareability. You can, you can invite collaborators as many as you want but you can also kind of limit the access a little bit so see this purple section Ooh. this purple section is called secret Secrets. so only i can see this so if i share this to you only i can see the secrets so like i can have my quest in here murder in overhill and we can have all my quest information stored in the secret section and it's just all linked that's what i love and if i want to add yeah, stuff cool. i literally just type like an at symbol or a slash symbol all the commands are super super obvious we can look at celine stormwatch and we can see her secret she can't swim. <gasps> you never found that out. No. You could have. Can we see that you have a secret there and then we can't see it? Or we just I've know. never collaborated with myself, so I don't know. <laughs> find out we'll to find by out. checking out Legend mm-hmm. Keeper. Let's Share know. it with your players. Uh, you can get a free trial. There's subscriptions available. Uh, check it out. Links are in the description. And this is, mm. this is what I use. And I'm actually going to be using it for my home game uh, once we... Come back to playing my home game. Our friends had a baby, so it kind of stopped the game. 
But now you can prep. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a very good baby. Thank you very much, Legend Keeper. Please check him out. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, if you're listening on a podcast, because we do exist as a podcast, you wouldn't have seen the lovely maps, but you can still check it out. I can even accidentally yeah. go to the wrong page. Yeah, nice. so you wouldn't have seen Dave's stuff up. Good, So excellent. that's cool. But yeah, uh, check us out wherever you get your podcasts. Listen to our lovely voices. Uh, and if you want to support us in a different way, uh, we have a store full of all our merch. Uh, it's tabletoptime.com. You can check out all the awesome stuff that we have for sale and it directly supports us. So we'd love it if you could check it out. And the best way to support us is through our Tabletop Time roleplay. Mm-hmm. Patreon. Patreon. It's a Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Sign up, get perks. Sign up, get behind the scenes. Perks. Come to our Patreon after party. Yes. Join us. After party. Mm. Join the TTT team. <laughs> that was a lot of teas. Um, for some TTTT. Let's get into the session. And we can get into the session super easily because guess what? Uh, I can just use Legend Keeper to grab the area we're in and go from there. Nice. So, shall we begin? Let's. In our previous episode, we had left off with our party having a wonderful, glisteningly hot, glistening due to the water shining off the lake. I'm picturing that beautiful and refraction. Yeah. It, it, lake weed. You know that, you know that beautiful, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, lake that weed. silvery uh, look on the top of water where the, where the sun, like, like sparkles mm. through the surface of the water? That's what I'm picturing. It's just Pretty. picturesque. It's everyone's vision of what the 80s were like in the summer where everything is wonderful and no one's bullying you and you're not uh, licking lead paint and having sort of bad nice. things happen to you over a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's okay. the nostalgic 80s. And our group have just set up a campfire, made some s'mores, <laughs> failed to make some s'mores, and we're about to settle in to a little bit of role play. So Dylan, the GM, has just set the scene and we're going to dive straight into that adventure world and see how our kids fare after their day of sun, some arguments with their brother, some revelations, secrets, secrets yeah. or maybe lies. Like, do you oh, even believe him? He's yeah. only 13. Yeah. I mean. But we are going to go not to a castle, even though that would be really cool and exciting. Damn it. Back to a familiar forest. And Murray's nose is going to be picked by Oswald all night. <laughs> Can you like tilt your camera down? It's going to work. You're stuck with Oswald's uh, podcast viewers. There is a portrait of Oswald. Yeah. Oswald has an extremely pointy hat. It's a and it is pointing directly up Murray's nostril. <laughs> it is wonderful to see. So that's a bit debatable. Up. Agree to disagree. Okay. It's, it's like a big green microphone. Yeah. It's just to extra amplify your voice. Our adventurers pick up in the land of Zoso. The last time they played, our group met the housewife Maris, who was in the town of Overhill, and unfortunately her husband had been killed by a horrible sea creature. They chose through their heroism to fight the horrible gribbly sea monster, kill it, and get all the loot that it had collected. They then gifted this treasure onto Maris so she could look after herself and her newborn child. Had a feast, a feast of heroes, got a full rest, recovered, got some experience, I believe, which I don't think anyone spent yet. No. Um, You've all got quite a bit of experience. Oh, do you have like five or so? Yeah. Yeah, So if you want to spend any experience, you're welcome to. Uh, You know what? I really, what I really should have said is, uh, so if like you yeah. want to spend experience before we start, like you um, totally can do that. Um, so what do we spend it on again? Oh, there's a key like at the bottom of the character sheet. It says oh, yeah. uh, how much it costs. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to be honest. I sort of forgot, sort of got used to Cody sort of exploding, talking about using XP all the time. So I've sort of got it sitting there. I How much did we get? I totally forgot. I have five. Five. But you guys played like a little game. more. Than no, you, you should have so. got like two last time. Oh, okay. Um, Great. Thanks. Hmm. So, uh, really, uh, really this is strong. Uh, you don't have to spend it now either. Like, if you just want to get down to playing, we can totally do that. I'll, I'll do mine later. Yeah, playing, yeah, playing is cool. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get into it. The adventurers set out north. We must remember our epic quest, says Hendrax, to head forth 
bringing message to all the watchtowers of Vorath the Ruin Bringers, horrible deeds south, and how the Queen and Prince must rally the Knights of the Kingdom and fight back the evil. Remember, everyone, our sacred duty. Shall we head on? Yes, I think it's time we continue our journey. We've done a spot of good work for the locals, but I think our higher calling is calling. Mm. I agree. I think I've had enough of the fish smell that's been lying mm. around, so, you know, let's move on. Agreed. Mm. We have done an excellent job dealing with quests that seem off to the side of our beaten path, but now we're back on the main road, the main quest road, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Absolutely. So, let's head on. And as you march onwards, you head north, above and out of Overhill, at a regular pace. The sort of stormy, windswept cape behind you slowly fades out of view as you travel over the hours, and your journey is a long, thick, and well-trodden road, a, a muddy road, as this area is often uh, buffeted by rain, not torrential, just that constant damp moistness of parts of England, highlands, that eventually descends a little bit into rolling green hills, picture uh, Hobbiton, or something like that. Quite, they're still quite high relative to sea level, but they're very rolling and soft and covered in grass, lots of trees, lots of bushes, and this road running along the top of this agricultural land. As you travel for hours, you do have an opportunity to discuss anything you'd like to with each other, of course, but if you're set on your path and your course and don't have questions, we can keep moving. I will be happily talking about all my plans for my farm. And how beautiful this, like, green grass area would be for chickens. <laughs> I'm very talky, very chatty when we walk. <laughs> so, Katori. Yes. Why is it that uh, you don't just start a farm back where you're from? Well, there is a kind of the reason why I'm out here traveling. They, uh, well... The place I live, it's not always normal to have fox ears. And uh, perhaps they look at me and think, maybe maybe not a good idea to give her a farm. So I think maybe I go be, I go be a hero. Wow. I go adventure, I come back, I say, look what I have done for the world. Now give me my world. That does seem like a logical next step. Thank you. Chickens. Heroism. Yes, exactly. Who else protects the chickens but heroes? You are like my chickens, you know? Right now. If you I run off, i did not expect this analogy. <laughs> so are they afraid that you will eat the chickens? Then? Eat them? Why would you think I would eat them? No, I, I don't assume. I assume the people in your town think that. Is that correct? I think they think I'm very scary. Because you have fox ears and a tail. And I'm big and scary looking. Right. Don't you think I'm scary well, looking? No, I actually think that you're quite strong and capable. Thank so you. that would make you a very good farmer. Thank, I should use you as a reference. I, <laughs> Please. I, I would be happy to provide one for Please. you. After we do all our adventuring, you can say yes. I mean, retirement hero. in a farm does sound quite lovely. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. what I think. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Oswald? I'm uh, sure it appeals to some people. The quiet sounds... Quite nice. Oh, it is not that quiet. Have you heard roosters? Oh, I mean, I imagine pockets wouldn't be there, so it must be pleasant. <laughs> you could come and visit if you'd like. But the animals. The other thing is, uh, my parents kind of didn't want me to start a farm. So. Ah. Oh, parents, am I right? Well, you see, that's the good thing about a wizard's tower. Yes. Because you can just lock the door and you're several hundred feet up and no one can get to you. It's fantastic. But then aren't you lonely? No. No? No. I love us. <laughs> you know I will I find you and I will I will bring you a chicken <laughs> for your wizard tower. Just so you have company. I accept. And you offer. can have eggs as well. You Very important. would be welcome to my wizard tower Amazing. anytime. 
once. I got another one. Oh. Well, you want many? You want a monopoly of wizard no, towers? No, we don't talk about what happened to the no, last one. No, do not talk about the last wizard tower. Oh, That's dear. common knowledge. Is this why you are questing? To get a new tower? That's... <clears throat> that is exactly. usually the cycle of Oswald's quest every two decades yeah. or so. Oh, Hold on, oh what, what happened okay. to the last wizard? We don't talk about the last well, wizard's tower. Because That's, it hurts my friend to talk of it. It's just... It was a thing. It happened, and we put that behind us. I thought you of all people, Celestia, would know that uh, when someone asks you not to push a point, you should leave it be. I suppose you are correct. Unless you think that we should pry, because if prying's the game we should play, well, oh, let's no pry. Prying. That is... Hey, uh, hey, hey, but I'll hey, leave hey, that hey. one to you. <laughs> My goodness, Cal Celestia. Right, oh, right. Okay. okay. Now, and you are. Yes, I shouldn't. I shouldn't ask questions. I should. Yes, it was nothing like the fourth wizard's tower. That one turned invisible, and I hadn't had my pills, so we never found it again. <laughs> but this one, this one was different. Maybe just no, no. It's just too painful. Have you ever I considered see. Katori? Yes. What if, even if you become a hero of the realms? Those people who judge you for being different still don't accept you. Well, I will have the animals, and that is all I need. And fast friends who uh, think you're pretty cool regardless of anything other people think. And that. Exactly. That Thanks, guys. Oddly specific. You are my friends. Aww. And as we push on, can I get... Celestia <gasps> to make a perception check, which is going to use her acuity and mm -hmm. her mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. intelligence. Great. That's three. That is not a good <laughs> roll. No. Can't wait. The challenge is challenge two. You yeah. can make it. Oh, there's brains. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three. three. Mm. Yeah. Smashed it. Celestia. I am one with nature right now. <laughs> what, watching around the edges, you know, eyes darting left and right, leading the group, having this casual chat, you see a shimmer, sort of a place where the wall, it feels like the world has a wall. Mm -hmm. There's a shimmer of weird energy and then like a flash, a bolt of this energy streaks towards you directly. How do you react? Oh, that's not... Hold on. That's not... There we go. That's what I want. <laughs> okay, that's um, important. I pull out my sword. No, I pull out my shield. I pull out my shield. <laughs> shield out. Let's go. So, shield, so, shield. Yeah, shield. So you're just going to lean into it? Well, it's coming at me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. shield. It's like a blast of energy. Yeah, shield all the way. Okay, baby. I'm going to get you to... I'm going to get you to make a combat roll. All right. Using your... Um, as if you'd use the block card. Even though we're not in combat. Oh, okay. I say card, the ability, the block ability, block gosh. Ability, blocking stance? Uh, it's no. It's zero cost uh, block ability that comes with your shield trait. So it's a weapon skill roll. You have a shield, right? Oh, yeah. I've got two in shield. Is that, is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't prepared. Hook me up, my friend. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. It, it's... <laughs> Jen doing that classic thing where you're not prepared and you, and you literally just shuffle through the same things like four <laughs> times, not actually um, finding what you're looking for. I'm panicking. This is it. It's blocking stance. You, you looked yeah, at it yeah, and swept yeah, past and you it. said you didn't say yeah. anything. Um, mm. So there you go. Okay, great. Blocking stance. Let's go. Table infighting. Oh, uh, we're all enemies here. It's nothing. It's got a zero on the okay, thing. That means, it says plus zero. So great. you just roll your weapons skill as if you're fighting with your sword. My sword See or my how it shield. says weapons skill, not shield skill. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, so I get three and then an yeah, extra yeah. three. Yeah. So six? I don't know. Is it six? Yeah, because it's, it's six. <laughs> your character. No, training, so training is three and reflexes is three, so six. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want some more? Yeah. Have some more. Thank you. Uh, challenge. Is that how this is working? No. No? no Great. It's not. Awesome. Three. Ooh, three. Okay. three successes. Secret dice. The GM is, GM is rolling Ooh. dice. It's a re-roll. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 You good? There you go. 
Damn. GM rolls a bunch of dice. Jen rolls again, this time getting two successes. Ooh. Ouchies. The blast of energy streaks directly mm. towards Celestia, smashes into her shield, and an arc of this dark energy coalesces around her and then envelops her. But in the interim, she's knocked from her feet and sent like tumbling across the ground, um, scraped, injured. Ow. No. Ow. <laughs> Ow. My character witness, <laughs> please be alive. <laughs> I need your reverence. Hendrax. Can I run over to it? Hendrax runs over, kneels down, oh. immediately casts his hand over Celestia, healing the injuries as they were freshly sustained. Oh, that's nice. He shakes her shoulders lightly as she, her eyes sort of flutter open. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Are you okay, Celestia? Uh, I, I think so. That was what? dark magic, a trap spell. It came out of nowhere. It was targeted specifically for us. Well, I guess I'm glad that I was able to bear the brunt of it, I suppose. Yes, and I'm glad I was here to patch you up, Celestia. As long as we companion together, I'll always look out for you, my friend. Thank you, friend. All right, we should make haste. There could be more. Keep an eye out. Who's got the damn best spotters in the party? Peepers. Not, not, not me. Peepers. I, I mean, you, yeah, you would be pretty key. Pretty, yeah, pretty I, good. <clears throat> I guess. I, I got, consider myself pretty good, do but you want I'm, to a bit, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit... Um, I'm getting older. <laughs> not old. There's older. damn chatter. <laughs> it's okay. I will do it. All right, and as you move on, can we get Katori to yes. make a acuity intelligence check? Yes, absolutely. Spot the magic trap. Okay, challenge I'm rating. I'm sorry, Celestia, I didn't sense it. Oh, that's fine. Challenge rating? Yes. Oh. Yeah, unknown I challenge don't get rating. To know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Well, that is four successes. You are fairly certain as you advance mm-hmm. that you don't see anything out of the ordinary. No weird shimmers, nothing to avoid. Mm-hmm. But you you feel mm-hmm. like you're doing a pretty good job of spotting for mm-hmm. them. You travel for a few hours and nothing happens. Until, eventually, the rolling sound of soft and distant thunder comes through. Shadow covers you gray clouds above and the pitter patter of constant rain streams down from above and you crest i'm sorry we don't have rain noises we don't, do we not I'm have sorry, rain noises sorry, no. what's the point we'll just take the microphone outside <laughs> and you crest a hill and in front of you you see a tower, a stone tower, the watchtower you're looking for. This place is called Rainy Day Hold Fast. And as you get closer to the tower, you see that this one has no palisades around it, no walls, but it does have a cluster of small houses, like a few, probably two dozen buildings, sort of mostly behind it. It's quite close to the road. Uh, and they're sort of clustered around the back and there's some fences and you could see fences going off. There's clearly agricultural land around here. So it's smaller than um, Tide Turn Tower and the settlement there. Uh, well, Tide Turn Tower didn't have a settlement there. So that it's smaller than the town that was close to Tide Turn. This is right. like a, a hamlet that's built around, okay. um, around this tower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's no wall preventing your approach. <clears throat> Uh, and it's basically the m- main thing that's sticking with you is your feet as you advance along this extremely sticky, muddy, overly yeah. used road that's sort of about three inches, or for the Australians, 7.5 centimetres, mm-hmm. 75 millimetres of mud, mm-hmm. like slick suctioning off your feet as the mm-hmm. rain comes through. It's be- it's trodden constantly, but it is quite a wide road, big enough for carts and stuff. It's just been raining a lot and it's overused. Um Squelch, squelch, And to, squelch. you're at the highest point in a mountain range and to your left, uh, <laughs> a lot of your vision is obscured by like the haze of constant rain. So, you, you know, you, know, you can see a few mm. kilometers, but mm. it's that thing where it kind of just 
disappears into that foggy, rainy look. Um, but you can see that there are forests uh, down the hills to your left and right. Um, yeah. You may proceed to visit if you'd like. Is there... You said mm-hmm. there was no... Uh, gate, no... There's no wall or gate. Wall. No. You do spot, even at this distance, a couple of sort of heads pop into windows and there's like a guard on top of the tower. I was about to say, does there happen to be a guard? <laughs> there's guards. Duty? I mean, as you get right. closer, you can see there's a few guards patrolling. The, the Crimson House guards are always at the towers. Let's go. I yeah. See. I think we should perhaps make ourselves known. Be friendly, of course. Yeah, so... Pull my hat a bit tighter <laughs> over my head, which is, of course, always stopped by the eyebrows. Let's make haste. The weather is not improving. Mm. Neither is my temper. Oh, cheer up. A bit of rain is, is good for the spirits. Let it wash away the bad stuff. It's not good for my socks. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's fair. Awful. I stalk off. <laughs> So you're heading towards the tower yep. and you're looking for a guard. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, we are. Absolutely. I'm looking for an absence of a guard, I think. Okay. Oh, you were trying to avoid it. <laughs> no, just looking for the absence. Uh, as you get to the front of the tower, the tower is, from your perspective, the first building. So if you imagine uh, this road going down a path and there's a hill you're sort of on the hill. It's sort of rounding and going across the top of the hill. The tower's on the very top of the hill. <laughs> and then... On the other side of the path, on the far side of this hill, as it starts to go down, that's where all the buildings are nestled in. So anyone approaching from the road from either direction, the the tower is the first building uh, before the sort of town falls, slowly follows the slope down the back side of the hill. Uh, and, the, and the path kind of goes like parallel to the buildings. Um, as you get... To the tower, there is a guard standing at the front gate of the tower, the mm-hmm. entrance to the actual tower proper. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few sort of carts and crates, and it looks like it's well used. Uh, fence posts is a path, a stone path. These sort of feet start to slip out of the mud and go onto some harder stones as some steps lead up this little entrance um, to the tower. I was going to say castle, but it's not really a castle. And a rather tall, lean, smart-looking guard is standing at the entrance in his crimson tabard. Good afternoon, adventurers. How are you all? Oh. Suddenly relieved. (laughs) How are you, my fine sir? What is your name? My name, Frederick. Hello, Frederick. What a... Wonderful name for a guard. <laughs> Could I help you with anything? I'm quite well versed in the area, and uh, we get often travellers, but not often as well equipped adventuring times as you. My goodness, you are very helpful. It's uh, my job to serve, it, my lady. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Where, where are we travelling to again? I seem to have forgotten. Here, here. right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like. <laughs> I've totally forgotten, yes, like, w- what sorry. the purpose of what we were doing I lost is. track like, a little bit. You know, bit being outside in yeah. Yeah, nature, I've totally forgotten um, what it is we're meant to be doing. You were hit by lightning in more than one way, I guess, Callum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying you have been a bit distracted. You know yeah. what? This is one thing that little dweeb Cody, I could rely on him for. He would kind of know exactly Dude, what's I'm going sorry. on. I'm sorry. Just, um, maybe I'm just tired. So, wait, you literally forgot the main point of the entire quest you're on. Look, look. I think we're going to the tower, right? There's the, the see, I'm not the only one. Yeah, there's there's, there's got a big bad. There's, there's, there's the big dude, right? Yeah. The guy. The guy. Big bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. 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 F. Yeah, 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 him. How, what what are we doing in order to stop him? You're going all along the watchtowers mm-hmm. to get to the capital, to get to Paradise City. Oh. But we're, where the grass we're is talking green. to everyone. girls are pretty. We're talking to everyone at the tower. Well, uh, I Each mean, tower. this is just on the way. You don't okay. have you don't But actually, we're, like, warning them. You don't. Right? Um, at this point, Dylan's, like, kicking some, like, poking a stick into the fire. He puts a couple more bits of wood on it. It's dwindling a little bit and he stocks it up but you can see the pile of fresh wood is getting lower yep. the moon's rising higher in the night um it's starting to get a little bit colder i mean it's been a very hot day so it's not going to get cold with the fire especially but you know it's that that vibe of it's you can go you later so sorry please continue yeah i i i know about this i the the last quest we did that was like 
we we went off and did an optional quest. Mm, mm. I think you're getting just a little bit confused, Callum. You're, you're thinking that you need to seek something here. This is optional. We don't have to go in here, but we can if we want to explore it. Oh, right. But we're making our way to Paradise yeah. City. Yeah, this, is, this isn't our objective. This is not, oh. it's, it's not our destination. Okay. But we can go and talk to people if we okay. want. This is like an opportunity from the DM. Okay. Is that right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. But like, it's more directly on your path. So okay. uh, you, oftentimes people want to like recoup, recover. Do they need, to, they want to buy anything, get the gossip? Is there any so yeah, is this what you planned for? Like this, what you wanted? What? Uh, I don't care. Yeah. It's, it's okay. sandbox. You can do whatever. Like okay. if you want to turn yeah. around and go side right. with Vorath and like burn down the city, that's chill. That's uh, the whole point of role play. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of do whatever you want. So um, anyway, uh, you're talking yeah. to a guard, and he's really well put together. Might I just say that you are a credit to your occupation, <laughs> and more could be aspired to be like you. Uh, thank you, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, tell me, is there any... Uh hot gossip happening in town. Anything perhaps us adventurers should know about? The door swings open to the tower, uh -oh. the wooden door, and another guard plods out, tugs the sleeve of this guard. All right, mate, you're off shift. Thank you very much, Gideon. <laughs> and the guard turns around and says, have a good evening, everyone. Walks inside. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Taken so soon from us. <laughs> Hey, adventurers. Oh, I love adventurers. Oh, what can I do you for this evening? Hello. Poop. What is your name? My <laughs> name's really Gideon. Ask the yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I see your thing with this guy. Yeah, not uh, me, no, no. I think Oswald has more of a problem with this gentleman than I ever have. <laughs> I will let uh, you guys make fast friends go. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like your hooded outfit, mister. <laughs> Very green. Suits the nature around here. It's, it's, it's not a hood. It's a hat. It's a wizard's hat. I'll have you know. Oh, I thought it was like from a garden gnome. Like a big gnome hat. Yes, I must have a word with that friend. They think it was very funny. That's so <laughs> damn popular. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, you were asking a question. Can I help uh, you with anything? Uh, I guess we can try. Uh, is there anything concerning or ailing this town that they may need help with, perhaps? Yes. A sea monster. We have just come from Tide Turn Tower and the village of Overhill, in which we have performed many brave deeds. Vampires. Oh, I hate that town. You would, Gideon. <laughs> it smells like fish. You can't get anything good like to grow fish. there. I cannot find issue with you there. <laughs> cannot find fish you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that I like was animals. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was most out of the so That's very good. <laughs> so, uh, no, nothing really uh, in this town. Oh, mm. this town's all good. Right. I have a well, question. When does your shift end? <laughs> oh, I've got the night shift. I'm here till morning. Oh, but okay. All right, so clearly we I need have, somewhere I to I have a question. Do we still smell like fish? Oh, well, might I have permission to smell you, my dear? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Retract that statement. <laughs> you can smell his head. No, no. <laughs> Stay away from that. Well, I wouldn't. You did ask okay, about your okay. odor. I will like hold out the hand. You would smell the hand. And he he leans forward. And um, uh, I'm gonna get you to roll. Why do I have to roll? I'm gonna get you to roll a. <laughs> <laughs> you have done this yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna get you to roll fortitude, which is, <laughs> which is just physical. Oh my god. Uh, and I'm gonna go with What's fortitude. It's just your fist. So it's it. Uh, What's oh my god, that's the old stat. So it's just your physical. It's okay. basically a resistance stat that was on the old character you sheet that's sitting in front of me. Sheet instead? Y yeah. <laughs> resistance? Okay. It's re just resistance. <laughs> no, 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 because it's not resistance. It's body. So you're okay. rolling body. Just uh, and Body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god, that should be a roll. <laughs> That'd be great. We're going to go with body charisma. All right. Do I get to know the challenge rating? Uh, it will be 
challenge rating two. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that's was fine. A, that's fine. Oh. That's a five. Don't the know. others were not fine. One success. Uh, yeah, one Ooh. success. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. And can I get a, a snappy, quick uh, acuity wisdom check from uh, Oswald and Celestia, <laughs> but not Katori? <laughs> what was it? Sorry. Acuity, uh, acuity, and wisdom. Oh no. Oh, I get four dice for this one. Uh, is that? Oh, one success. Ooh. And I'll get intuition intelligence from you. Oh, my okay. goodness. Oh, from a sniff. There's a lot <laughs> happening. You got none? No successes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I was I was nothing. That was with six dice. You close your eyes. You're trying to get two. Everyone's trying okay. to get two. Stay okay. tuned for the battle report, everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. I did it again. Oh, you rolled one, one, and oh. no. So everyone failed? Everyone Three guys. failed. Everything. Okay. Gideon got us again. Oh, dear. Gideon leans in. Not at all, my lady. You smell perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, thank you for your services. A fly. No one notices a fly buzzing around the top of you. <laughs> no one notices Gideon's eye twitch, his <laughs> lip curl as he, like, it no looks, one notices it, it this. It looks normal. Really. But, but he, uh, he, like, is being the most polite person on the planet. Uh, as you smell like the fish monster you killed and haven't bathed since, and then the night of drinking. So fish monster rape? guts. What about the rape? Uh, it, it's only served to soak it deeper Imagine into your clothes. Imagine what dog smell. Yeah. So it just makes it <laughs> worse. Fish monster guts, pug. wet dog smell, yeah. okay, uh, and yeah. also, uh, yeah, the the ale from the night before. Mm. Well, that is. Great but you don't know. know that. You don't know that. You think you smell great. No, that is yeah. great to know that I smell great. Oh. And uh, in that case, I can do this. And she shakes like a wet dog. Oh. He just like grimaces oh. slightly as all of this like liquid oh. slaps up against him. It's a biohazard right there. Very good. Um, Thank you. All right. So we can I help you with anything else? Uh, yeah. yeah. What is what is the time like? It's like mid afternoon. Mm. Well, this Gideon I, fellow is very helpful. I don't know what you have against him. <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Mm. <laughs> so I suppose we need to ask ourselves, do we want to push on for what remains of the day or find mm. an abode here? Well, uh, we clearly don't need to have a bath, so, you know. <laughs> do you know how much further until the next uh, major uh, town? Not major town, small town. Oh. oh my goodness. I feel like it caused you a brain. His eye twitches. <laughs> he seems to still be suffering from the smell that's like now liquefied I on his I'm face. So He's sorry, like, sir. Um, <laughs> we don't know, though. Yeah, you don't know. You just think this is normal Gideon behavior. Which direction might you be going in? Uh, towards Paradise City. Oh, to the capital. Oh, yeah. Are you going by the Watchtower way? Yes. Oh, it's yes. like four days. To the next oh. one. Yeah, there's no more. Well, I mean, if you go off to the east, down into the Valley of Dreams, there's Laneley, but it's a little bit off the beaten path, but it is sort of in the rough direction. If you're going directly... <laughs> Are you oh, oh, maybe do you want the other girl to come out? Are you okay? Um. Oh my God! What's over there? <laughs> and he points over his shoulder in a really obvious, like ploy. Yeah. Does no one react to it? <laughs> no, no. I do. I absolutely <laughs> do. I roll the d twenty. Roll the two. I absolutely go look. Okay. I believe him. Out of surprise, I'm going to turn just to see what. <laughs> Celestia is looking at. I I will follow. Okay. <laughs> I will be the sheep. <laughs> um. Okay. Can you roll again? The sheep in fox clothing. Can you roll? Uh, <laughs> can you roll acuity wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Just Katori. Oh God. Acuity. Wisdom. Oh, you are good at that. Not at the wisdom part. <laughs> Oh, that oh, roll is off. four. Oh, no, four, four is a success. You are the only one to notice the feeling of something, like, sort of briefly touching you, but the weight of something lifting, and as your head automatically snaps back to the source of it, you see you don't notice. Gideon doesn't know that you caught him doing it, but you now see what he did as he peels off 
from your back. Like there's a moment he peels off this like piece of like fish flesh that's like stuck <laughs> on your back. Yeah. That just everyone's ignored and no one's noticed because you all smell like yeah. this fish monster and no one's actually picked up on it. You know when you smell like something you can't smell it anymore? So he just peels off this like thing and like flings it off into the distance. <gasps> the poor lady we slept at her house. Just <laughs> they all smell like it. In, they all smell like it in Overhill. It's a normal day. Just normal day smell, yeah. yeah. Um, normal and then he's normal like, Dave oh, smell? Okay. <laughs> Do you just what? let him think that you didn't notice? Uh, or do you say anything? Yeah, I will say something. What okay. What was that? What oh, was there a bug on me? Yeah, horrible big thing. Horrible big it. thing? Yeah, swamp leech. Oh, oh, you are very good. Thank you. Guard. Uh, don't go chasing after it. Oh. Great. Anyway, it smells better around here. Funny, that swamp leech is disgusting. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, uh, so you were saying nearest town, four days that way. Bye, have a nice one. Oh, but wait, I have more. Oh, I need to maybe. Okay, I don't, yep. I don't really know. Oh, you're saying, okay, I thought you were actually going. I no, you're to... going. I think he oh. wants to get rid of us. Are you telling us to leave? You want I thought us you to were. Go? I thought you were. I work here. <laughs> Why would I, I just, leave? I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to keep talking to old kitty in here. Um,. I was a little confused. Uh, where is... Where we is, are deciding whether we... Let's go to the Valley of Dreams. <laughs> or we move let's on go. to the next town. Um, <laughs> he wants us to go. Is there an inn here? A lodgings here? Uh, <laughs> 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 no. Oh, that must be terrible for any people that are passing by. Uh, well, not our problem. Yeah, I suppose. Um, how does your town survive then? Yeah. No well, small economy. population. Uh, I suppose they're also flooded in with refugees running away from all the horrors that are manifesting. Mm. I mean, you could have rolled a, like, intuition to see if he was lying. Just so you know, that's I the thing. Believe I, I just <laughs> believe him. Just believe him. I believe him. I don't want to I don't believe him look any further anything. into yeah. Gideon's words than I have to. Uh, what about the nearest, like, lake or uh, river, if we perhaps want to camp and freshen up a little bit? Oh, some down in the woods, but at mm -hmm. least a day away. Oh, a day's not so bad, I suppose. Yeah, a few rivers come down from the mountains to the north, but yeah, <laughs> kind of bypass here. Well, we can always travel for a day and then yeah. reach Lots the river. Of puddles. Uh, that's yeah. probably not quite what I had in... So we can wait a day before we have a bath. Apparently we smell amazing. Yeah, exactly. Perhaps we can check mm. out the town, see whatever was it that there's a blah, 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 blah. I just lost my words completely. There's something must be getting to my head. Ah. I feel like <laughs> you might be hiding something from us, Gideon. You oh, wouldn't. I wouldn't. Indeed. What? I, bleh, I don't know what you're talking about. These mm. accusations. Hmm. Okay. Shall we go? Hmm. Yes. Let us be off. What's Have a lovely that? journey. Thank you. It's Ta -ta. Waves. Where do you go? Yeah. Gideon seemed um, almost keen to be rid of us. For only the rest of them could be the like lake? that. I would like to... Uh, Hendrax, uh, what do you think the best yes, course? Yes, darling. <laughs> What do you think the best course of action should be? <clears throat> Sorry, to be honest, surprise. I was filing my nails for that whole conversation. I wasn't paying any damn attention. Right. They do look very nice. Helpful. Oh, always Thank look you. after your nails. So. Should we travel towards the tower, which is a four days journey? Or that is our destination. Or should we travel towards, uh, make camp in near a river or travel to the east, the other way, the other direction that isn't the tower. I can't remember what direction it was in. Eastish towards the... I'm getting um, lost the, the, in the this valley theoretical of, uh, map. Dreams? Valley of Dreams. The Valley of Nailed Dreams. It. That nice. sounds nice. Well, uh, I think we should press on further north. Okay. This town seems really wet. And uh, it's not great for my hair. So mm. uh, if we could get out of this weather, that would be swell. Well, we couldn't have anything damaging no, that, now, could we? we couldn't have that. All right, so should we move on then? Or let's do you want to hang out with Gideon, baby, a little bit more? No, let's go. All right. Let's go. Straight there, down the guts. March on! 
Woo. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you keep plotting up, journeying onwards. Uh, you travel for about an hour. Mm-hmm. Before in front of you, a wall slowly sort of, because it's of opacity and vision and all that, a wall of purple mist, like a thick wall of fog is just ahead of you. And as you draw closer and closer, it's not moving, it's staying like exactly where it is completely obscuring your vision ahead and the road as you get to within sort of half kilometer um the road just disappears into this wall of purple mist hendrax Mm. is this something to do with you it's color coded to you that is very observant (laughs) i i'm pretty sure if it was my purple haze i'd recognize it no that is Someone else's purple haze. Someone else's oh. purple, purple aura, <laughs> perhaps. Purple. Okay. Mm. Do you know anyone that has the color purple? Is their particular emblem color that most characters have? It's a color that Wait. really distincts them. That fog. We cannot cross it. Why not? What does that mean? That is dark magic. If we enter there. With it being that thick, we'll lose our way. Maybe even lose our minds. Oh, oh dear. Despite my advice now seeming to be terrible, (laughs) perhaps we should find someone we can ask about this mysterious purple haze. Hmm. Should we go back to... Can I... Frederick? Not Gideon. Can I pick up a rock and throw it at the haze? You can. And see what happens. Okay. Pick up a rock. Yes. Lift it. Yes. From 500 meters away, or are you going to get closer? Um, I can throw that far. 500? Okay. Absolutely. I believe in you. <laughs> what would you like to roll I to attempt to throw 500 bit. meters? I can go a little bit more further. <laughs> top shot put. Uh, True. Play out in her uh, town. Like the trunch bull. I'm built like yeah. the trunch bull. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you going to roll? Uh... Power. Power reflexes is what we're going with. Okay, okay. Yeah, show them. Uh, show me one Chance gold. Six. In the town Olympics. For shot put. Oh, oh my okay. God, I should have done a high challenge. <laughs> no, level. you should not have. <laughs> I have seven dice. I mean, the human Sorry. world record. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. Did you, you said challenge level six. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, do it. You're, go, please, please. <laughs> Let's this go. is so far beyond the maximum this throwing distance great. of a human. It's out of control. Oh. <laughs> Four oh, successes. Oh, okay. Bye, like, you managed two. to throw it exceedingly well. <laughs> Thank you. And, um. and it makes it about 50 meters, mm. which is oh. pretty much further than like most people in the world can throw a stone. That was pretty good. Thank honestly. you. Perhaps I should go closer. Uh, I mean... If you could just kick it in, I suppose, at this point, really, and see what happens. Only 450 <laughs> minutes to go. <laughs> that was still really impressive. I'm, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for Please. your candor. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> was that impressive, Hendrix? I do not believe in gentle lies. Oh. What? What? <laughs> lies to make people feel better. That's lying? But in this case, no, it was pretty impressive. Okay. I've say, never I can't s- throw a shop with that for a rock that I, far. I've never seen anyone throw a rock that far. Mm. However, I am surprised you thought you could throw it over <laughs> ten times the distance you that, managed to. I mean, that's Even given <laughs> that the distance you threw it was remarkably impressive. I mean, if I do need mm. someone knocked out with a rock, I will be asking <laughs> Katori to do that for me next time. It's safe to get up Maybe to there are a lot of things you don't know about me, Hendrix. <laughs> Very true. Mm. I shouldn't have assumed. Mm. Perhaps we could get closer. We can. It's safe as long as we don't enter the mist. Okay. We can even breathe in just a little bit. Okay. It's a crazy natural high. I'm are you trying worried? to hit Why do you her? like that? That, that was a weird place I was going for a second there. Hey, that me? was just me that assumed that. I thought that was, that's a very strange assumption, Celestia, and it's a really weird thing to say. And sometimes you should keep your mouth shut <laughs> when we're talking about throwing rocks into purple hazes. Shall we get closer? Okay. I, so. I already have a life partner. Oh? Oh. I mean, I'm offended by that insinuation. Who is your Ooh. life? Yeah. That is a story for another time. 
It's not me. <laughs> in case you were wondering. It's Gideon, isn't it? <laughs> like we, we travel a lot together, but no, no. Oh, I wish it was. It would be completely okay if it was Oswald, though. There'd be nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But it's not Oswald. I mm-hmm. was merely laughing at the fact that I really do wish that it was, because I think that would have been really nice <laughs> for the two of you. It's that kind of be. you to say. It would be nice. Okay. All right. Let's well, well, see you closer to the mist. <laughs> but test your rock hypothesis. But <laughs> yes, discuss. let's do the what rock do. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we move on from the weird... Uh, <laughs> Whatever that was, Callum. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was great. So um, you're going up to the mist. You throw a rock in. Yeah. Cool. The rock goes in the mist. Yeah. And as the rock whizzes into the mist, it goes, Oh, no, I'm very confused and I've lost my way. It would be very dangerous for people to walk in here. Wait, the rock says so? <gasps> we just... The, Mer- the rock. Just murdered a rock. The, yeah, <gasps> I named dude. him Dwayne. The, I didn't know rock had sentience. That's, uh, <laughs> is Dwayne the rock oh, a thing oh, in the eighties? Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I think that he. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no. You can't go that way. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So the rock. The rock told us to go the other way, so... You just can't walk in it or you get lost. Your mind will be consumed by the mist. Yeah. Sure. Like the rock was suddenly made sentient and its mind was consumed by the mist. I believe you. Yeah. Let's turn around the other way. Um, Can you just remind me again what year we're playing? (laughs) 1998. Uh... 20 something years old, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah his maybe. Career, I think, I maybe don't think he was started. Dwayne the Rock Johnson then. <sighs> <laughs> canonically, <laughs> this is important. Canonically, she came up with it first and then he copied. No. Started, started <laughs> wrestling in 1996. Uh, I just got that part. Yep. I, I named him Dwayne, I don't know why. His friends would have called him the Rock. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. We're only a tiny bit off track here. Only a little. My powers are nothing against this mist. I didn't even recognize it. I thought it was yours. I apologize for that now. It seems that we will have to find another route and give a respectful farewell to that brave, brave rock. I'm sorry, rock. You will be remembered. Dwayne. We'll miss you. Let's go the other way. What? Uh, are we going down the... Are we heading towards Laneley or back to the tower to get more information? What is closer? The tower. By a lot. Okay. Well, I don't think the tower can avail of as much. Bloody Gideon will say to that. Mm. So I think perhaps we'll push on... Press onwards. Okay. Yes. They did say it was a day away. Yes. Uh, towards Langley and the, the East, Valley of Dreams. And the Valley of Dreams. Yes. Yes. Perhaps that sounds the, much more pleasant. If they have guards there, they won't lie to me. And perhaps we can. Gideon definitely lied to me. He pulled something off my back. Oh. Yes. Did he steal from me, perhaps? He stole a fish. Fish scale. Oh, that's a bit off my back. I know. Back? I know. I mean, he could have asked. I had named that one as well. Oh. Never take off ladies' fish. Confucius. <laughs> Anyway, as you begin to <laughs> descend the hills east towards the forest of the Valley of Dreams, you don't have to head far before mm. you see a little plume of smoke and a tent set up mm. in a little clearing with some heavy trees overhanging and providing a bit of cover from the rain. You can head past or you can pop your head in. As an adventurer who definitely knows how to set up tents, I admire the workmanship. It is a well set up tent. Looks like the traveling tent of a soldier. Can we see anyone? Uh, if you get close enough, yeah, you'd have to kind of diverge. It's it's probably like a hundred meters away. Yeah, I'll start That's approaching. two rock throws away. <laughs> <laughs> As you get closer, you see a figure uh, hunched over the fire, cooking something in a pot on the fireplace. Uh, mm. Good day. Uh, st- As you get even closer, you see a female wearing the crimson tabard of the crimson house and wearing chainmail, helmet, sword, mm. uh, and shield like put down on the side. She looks up. Afternoon. Ah, oh, adventurous. Hello. Hey. 
Uh, how are you this fine, wet evening? Oh, miserable. Yes, mm. us too. <laughs> uh, we are on our way to uh, the place of Hindu. The capital? Uh, uh, yes. Land, 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 it's about a day's travel, although maybe longer if you're headed through the forest. And that awful purple smog is clinging to the valley. Yes. yes. We How lost, long has We that lost been a rock there? to it already. Well, That's I a arrived rock. a day ago. Is that rock? I've mm-hmm. been hoping it would clear with the winds, but it seems magical in nature. I was dispatched from one of the southern watchhouses to send message to Paradise City about, well, Vorath the Ruinbringer. Oh, what, what this? message... Do you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's probably the same message that we know that... that Vorath the Rune bring us back. Yes, yes. Okay, that is what we're message. doing. Well, yes. Good. That's awesome. Great. I'm glad more people have dispatched him. It, it stands to reason that as soon as the Crimson Watch fa- found out, we dispatched guards to send the message. Well, wait. If you're travelling to Paradise City, then perhaps should you join us? You're going to Laneley, aren't you? Well, yes, but our ultimate goal is to Paradise our City. ultimate goal, yeah. Yes, we've been diverted again due to this purple mist. mist. Well, um... No, I think... I think if you're going to try heading through Laneley and heading east, uh, I'll wait here and hope that the smog clears, because otherwise, if we're all together and we pick the wrong path, the message definitely won't get delivered. And you're okay traveling by yourself? Yes, I'm a soldier. I'm more than competent than any local highway brigands. Are you oh. certain? I mean, and yeah, it can be quite dangerous. And I think that we would really enjoy but, having another party member around. It could be I fun. I mean, she has also come this far. Yes, yeah, true, true. Um, as I said, I'm a very competent <laughs> soldier. Okay. Uh, I don't like the insinuation that I might be not very good at my profession. No, not at all. No, 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 that was not... No, I, that I, isn't I just what she would, was saying. No, I just thought it would be nice to have another member around, that's all, because, like, you're just a, a random person travelling and sometimes, you know, picking up random people to join to your party is just kind of a fun, fun thing that you can sometimes do. Do you get my gist? Uh, I guess. Well, tell you what. If you can sort out whatever's going on with this mist, she gestures down to the valley. It seems to be blowing up from down there and concentrating up on top of the hill and blocking my way. Um, and you meet up with me again. Sure, I'll join you. Okay. Mm. okay. Interesting. But just in case a hurricane blows through and blows it all away, I don't want to be a day's travel off the road and further away from the queen. I need to fulfill my duty, and I can't be side-quested out of it. So you've deduced that it's originating from a direction. Oh, yes. It wafts up there. It's very peculiar. It blows up there like mist on the moors, but with purpose, with direction. It's accumulating there. Sometimes a waft of it flies past here, and I get a little bit confused, but only in small amounts does it come. It's not as thick. I'm not sure mm. this is the safest area for you to stay, but okay. And how far is this point? Oh, it's which... down Valley of Dreams somewhere. I can't pinpoint it from up here, but definitely okay. see it emanating from down there. Mm. So that is mightily weird. Doesn't sound dreamy at all, does it, Hendrax? <laughs> Mm, I'd say it definitely sounds like some kind of evil magic. I hate evil magic. It's the worst kind of magic. Mm. Except for magic that doesn't involve actual spells. You know, like card tricks. I hate card so, tricks. So, like a magician. Oh, the worst. Why do you hate them? Because they trick you? Don't you think it's entirely pointless? I mean, it's Oswald can literally do magic. It's a different kind of talent. Seems like scamming to me. Mm. If you're going to do the Balducci levitation, you should actually just be able to levitate rather than standing awkwardly on one foot. (laughs) Well, those little hoop thingies that they put together and then it's actually just fake in the end. Yeah, no, I'm not into that. I think it's quite inventive and creative the way that, you know, people can create magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What? Meg, do you do magic? No, do I don't do magic. Do you have like a magic, magic trick no, book? But I what is this magic thing? I've seen like I've seen it at a carnival once, okay? And it was really cool. And <laughs> I like reading fantasy stuff. So it was cool to see like magic. Yeah, don't they do some really cool stuff in like It's Vegas? really creative the way people do things. I know, but like, don't you think it would be pretty lame to be a magician in a world where actual magic exists? Well, let them follow their dreams. I mean, yeah, like, what if you were just someone that just couldn't do magic, yeah. but you thought magic was really cool, so you're like, hey. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> like, like doesn't, do, wouldn't, wouldn't people sell their magic stuff so then people can, like, do magic? Even if it is just a bunch of parlor Making tricks. it look like you're levitating and not actually levitating is going to be a whole lot harder than actually levitating. So I think it's impressive. Matt Melvin? I think spell books are cool. What about fake magic when you can cast real spells? I mean, yeah, I like the magic of the theater. You know, oh. the ability to make everyone oh. like drop silent hey. with just a word. Hey, Dylan, j just so you know, Cody would probably agree with you. Just, yeah, just keep that it's Cody's sad. coming back in your heart. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Let's get back to the session. Magic wow. is cool. It's fine to be a magician. Andrax retracts that statement. Very well. So. The mist is emanating from down in the valley. <laughs> Go, well, about it. <laughs> it sounds like this could be worth looking into on our way through. Cool. Who knows how many wayward souls this mist could have snatched. Mm. You're heading down into the valley of dreams. Mm. Yes, thank you so much for your uh, advice. You. And the sun we begins to set. We wouldn't want to be where we're not wanted, so we'll leave you. As you head down into the valley. And you travel through the beautiful oranges of sunset as slowly this purple haze that's floating down in this valley, uh, you begin to see that they, it is just everywhere. You can't avoid it, but it is far less concentrated in the way that you might see a mist in, in a low-lying area in a misty morning. It sort of settles in patches in the lowest areas. Above that, there's just a light tinting of this pink cloud that you can and will have to travel through. But all of it is slowly and generally blowing in the direction up to the hill and then like coalescing in that thick cloud front on top of the mountain that's completely blocking your way. And as you journey down for a little while later, there is a snap and a pop. <laughs> A voice echoes out from all around you seemingly at once. <sighs> what do we have here? A group of adventurers trying to foil my plan. Pockets! Is that you? <laughs> Shh! Sorry! Pockets! Oswald. I think I know that voice. Who is that? Is it Pockets? Yes! Oh. Hendrax! Says a man who appears in a flash of light and magic in front of you, wearing this gorgeous brass muscle plate of Roman design, sculpted with golden filigree, that is clearly built for a man of huge, impressive stature, like Hercules' rippling muscles, probably seven foot tall and, you know, half as broad. The man is not that man. Uh, there is a rather weedy looking wizard in ill-fitting robes, we barely wearing this giant breastplate, which hangs off him loosely. He has amulets, trinkets, a magic scarf, billowing, uh, billowing cloaks, rings, a scepter, all of these items, a bondolier, a, a quiver, if you will, of magic wands at his waist, all with various like makes and models, different marks on them. He has horns protruding from his forehead, a curled and horrible wispy Jafar-esque mm -hmm. uh, collection of facial hair and a tiny red gnome's hat pinned to the top <laughs> of his hair. Is? <laughs> a tiny <laughs> red gnome's hat pinned to the top of his hair. What was your name, sorry? He, he looks down at you all expectantly as he levitates in the name. air. Oh, what was your name? I uh, am Strekrom. Strekrom. Um, um, Strekrom, I have a question for you, good uh, sir, that you appear to be quite evil. 
What's with the hat? <laughs> why is it so small? Yeah, why is it red? Oh my god, don't talk about the hat. Oh no. It's a magic hat. Shh, says Hendrax okay. quietly. Is it a magic hat? My hat! Oh. You dare question my hat! Ba-da! And he's like swings his scepter out and there's just explosions in the distance in exactly the way of Enchanted Tim uh, in the Monty Python, if ever you've seen that, <laughs> where he's just gestures at mountains and there's little explosions off in the Amazing. distance. Yeah. Wait, I should say... Uh, meow. I don't think they were. It didn't work. Them. Oh no, they're, they're, they're hearing massively loud. Oh, uh, explosions. oh, that's why someone asked if there was a truck alarm. I think we maybe they're pushed a button. They're not hearing anything. <laughs> that may be why. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> it works. We deafened everyone. I'm so sorry, but anyway. <laughs> God, I wish I had. Why have I not had this this whole time? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> why is there a Windows sound? There we go. That's, oh, no, that's me changing the sound volume of the oh. computer, so it's not as deafening. <laughs> How dare you mention my hat? Ah. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> that one's a lot more distance. This is the great hat of Karaknia. It is the most powerful wizard locus in the realms. Ah. Ah. Gotcha. So it seems. So, uh, you are the ones who are running from my Lord Vorath. Oh, um, that is your Lord? He is the Great One! Oh, At least in oh, the distance, a plume of smoke and fire. Uh, I'll have you know that we're walking and it's very wet. Okay. So, <laughs> I have come to see who is causing all the trouble who could bear message of my master's greatness. The only ones who have managed to run from his presence without paying the ultimate price. You, I'm going to have fun with you. <laughs> that is actually not us. It's also kind of really annoying. Can you stop that, please? Yeah, uh, yeah we are not the ones you're looking for because we have paid the ultimate price already. Hey, oh. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, because we have. Rock. Yeah, yeah. We, we, a dear friend has departed mm. our party mm. with, with great sacrifice. Mm. So, due to the uh, curse of goodbye. Miss. Make a deception <laughs> roll uh, paired with <laughs> intelligence. Challenge level four. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even make it. Yeah. I'm you rolling, can if you roll three and use now. I'm rolling two dice. Can okay. I assist? Okay. Well, you can roll it instead. If he you knows want. I'm oh, lying. It's fine. Yeah, if you want to go. Wait, what was it again? Charisma and intelligence. Uh, it was deception and intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. What's it? <laughs> ah! It's not us. Yeah. Okay. We get it. It's explosions oh, everywhere. Oh, wow. Very oh, fun. Yeah. Can you? You lie. Back? And for that, yeah, I do. Your first test. You will oh. not stop. What I have started here. And he raises his hands in the air and there's this aura of magic just envelops the area. And I'm going to get you all to this time make a check. I'm going to get you to roll resistance mm. and wisdom. Is it purple magic? No. Oh, it's not purple magic. It but he is wearing a lot of purple. Resistance and wisdom? <gasps> That's correct. Challenge was it? Sorry. Uh, that's a great question. I need to roll because it's opposed. Opposed. Oh, I got three. Five. Oh my challenge God. level five. Yep. So you rolled. Oof. I, I, I should I just not roll? You got four. Oh, four. Should I just not roll? You could pass the knack. <laughs> Or you could oppose with I have three dice. Uh, <laughs> no, I won't make it. The, I would the like amount this, that you're... That's my point. What, <laughs> what, what, did, you, what did I get? Three. 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 One. Four. I, I got four, yeah. Yep. Oh, I should roll for Hendrax. What did I say? Resistance. Um, resistance resistance and wisdom. 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 <laughs> <gasps> The ground beneath you turns to a slick of mud and immediately sucks you down into it, and you're being sucked into it at increasing speed. Oh, you heathen! Oh. The mud is so much worse! Now, prepare for one of my ultimate spells. 
and he lifts up and this green ring on his finger like glistens with magic and then you you recognize the green magic of the ring is the green magic that is slowly sucking you down like nature magic into mm-hmm. the ground and he says excruciatingly tantalizingly awfully slow death by drowning in asphyxiation in mud and then he looks at uh, a wristwatch that isn't there because it's a fantasy setting and then he says you have five hours to escape with your life five hours and with the last explosion he just disappears at least I don't have a green gaudy ring like you do he's gone yeah Yeah, well get him Celeste yeah (laughs) Yeah. And I'll show him. Well, this is now what? Not oh ideal. my god, this mud is disgusting, and I appear trapped in it as well, my friends. Ugh. I am sinking very uh, slowly. Uh, we have five hours to deal with okay. this. Okay. Well, it seems that Katori and I uh, are a lot more stuck than uh, you. I'd estimate we probably only have three hours. Oh goodness! The Katori so and uh, and Drax both just got like slurped oh, way deeper god. than the others. Okay. Uh... You got a sword. I got a mace. Mm-hmm. You got a staff. Yes. Does anyone uh, have rope? Anyone have, yeah, rope or something. So looking around the sort of area where we're all sinking in, is there a visible point where it looks like the, the it's like the, the sinking sand versus just like normal terrain? There's definitely a clear delineation. It's a magically yeah, cool. affected area. Cool. How far away? Who, who was the closest from the, the point? You, with your four successes out of five. Okay. You were the closest to the ledge. Can I reach it with my sword? <sighs> with your sword? Like outwards. You guys tell me some checks you want to make, try and do stuff. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, what are you trying to do? You're trying to stretch out with your sword and what? Just make contact with the ledge? You're trying yeah, to cut something? I'm going to use a power to really like to force myself oh, so over you're like there. doing a lunging yeah. thrust. And what's um, the intent of the To try contact? and reach the end of my sword to the contact point. To, to do what? So to balance myself. Um, so you're trying to like put it flat on the ground. I'm actually going to try and lunge in. To try and make contact with the dirt. Lodge into the solid dirt. To lodge into it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say there's like a tree stump with a mound of dirt near it that sure. would probably be a more sound target. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to do the power. Uh, uh, so you can use power for that half of it. And then given the amount of like stretching uh, and, and reaching out, I'm going to actually say uh, this feels like a reflexes. So you're going to be flexible. Okay, so that's four. I have four power and three strength. And I'm going to go, this is pretty pretty challenging. Challenge mm-hmm. level. To get a good enough faucet hold that you could, like, pull yourself and the sword won't come out, mm-hmm, challenge mm-hmm. level four. Okay. What's that? Two, that is two. 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 Only two? Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Oof. Celestia, like, lunges forward and the mud almost slicks against you. It's like there's a bunch of resistance in it. The sword stabs into this stump and, and the, where the sword hits just, like, shatters into a mush of rotten wood and, and like, horrible, mm. weak. Does anyone have anything more sturdy, perhaps? Uh, I had my my little flute that pockets took. <laughs> I could play us a little ditty. That would be nice. Mm. I have my staff. Mm. However, mm. I don't know if that would be any more use. What than about your the magic? Sword. Yes. What about the magic? <laughs> <laughs> I can throw fire. That one is readily available to me. <laughs> I'm aware of my fire spell. Search the forest. On okay. Fire. All right. How Tell you what. I throw a rock and you throw the fire <laughs> on the rock <laughs> and we light everything up. <laughs> so, Gateway is, of course, in development. So, I'm just going to give you access to, like, Every car, every single like uh, ability that mm-hmm. we have, like some of the other cards I might have, uh, and tell you if there's anything that is currently being made that you could theoretically. Oh yeah, you've got that. You already have that. Not, not equipped. Oh yeah, you have that equipped. It's fine. Uh, Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you did go to sleep, so you would have picked new cards. You know, it's the usual. No. You you ha- you already had there is a spell. All right, if you would like well, to use it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't think my staff would be any use. Uh, 
I'm afraid fire probably wouldn't help. Mm. I can do this, though. And I just sort of get about this sort of weirdly rhythmic chant, and then I'm just sort of, like, standing. <laughs> there's just a, there's a splash and an ozone pop as Oswald just goes... And he's no longer in in the mud, and he's just standing like you are off to the side, mm. on solid ground. You forgettable, can't mm. say that <laughs> word on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that will help us. No, I <laughs> that was very impressive. Yes, <laughs> couldn't Can see a magician do that one, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that uh, for more than yourself? Uh, sadly, no. That's sort of a onesies sort of thing. Right. So, however. Uh, I think I could almost reach you, Celestia, with my stick. Oh, no. Or if you have perhaps a bit of rope or a tree branch or something, maybe just in case, because I don't know how strong you are. But I think you, I, I recall <laughs> you saying you have really good calf muscles, so perhaps you can reach me. Wait right there. I'll go see if there's something lying in the I've forest. I've been five hours, so I'll be you fine. You should be fine. I'll be back. I don't think we'll move. <laughs> and I hike up my very now sodden robe. Yeah. So <laughs> off towards the forest. <laughs> to go find a branch. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, Hendrax just says, Oh, that Oswald. He always fills me with such extreme faith and confidence in my camaraderie and my friend. Mm. I'm just going to enjoy this for what it's worth. And you just hear this squelching sound <laughs> as he just descends himself into the mud that's slowly drowning you down uh. to like his face level, gets his hand and just starts doing a mud facial <laughs> on his own face. And he's like leans back a little bit. So he's like in a mud bath. But you know that this means within 10 minutes he'll be submerged oh. in the magical mud. But he's like, I'm just going to enjoy it. And he starts doing Thank the you mud for facial. your help. Again. I can do absolutely nothing except for heal you from pretty much any injury. Thank you. And I can sing. Maybe one day you sing, I play little flute. It would be a beautiful musical jamboree. Beautiful duet. In the meantime, Oswald's going to save us all, so you may as well enjoy this mud bath too. I will, uh... You come back with a big, <laughs> big stick. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, stick. something longer than my staff. Okay. I have it! Ah, <clears throat> Hendrax. Well, <clears throat> you did miss out on your beauty care routine yesterday, so I suppose this is benefits us all. Right, <laughs> Celestia, you are honestly probably most helpful outside helping uh, me, so... Uh, he, yeah, pro pro most likely. Reach yes, for my branch. <laughs> what? My branch of friendship. <laughs> what check would you like Next to make, the olive Oswald? <laughs> uh, I think I would like to use the... Uh, <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me see. Let's go with acuity and or you don't have to pick finish. both. You pick your you pick oh, the one yes, you the pick one. whatever you want to attempt it with yeah, within acuity, reason. Ju judging the distance and how far using your senses, your sense of touch, your sense of pressure, your footing, you kind of determining whether it's too soggy, where where's the absolute limiter of where you can stand and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay, but this is going to be a matter of raw power. So we're going to go strength. All right. And the challenge level for this with just, the stick. Just, just to define. And your raw strength or raw power, because they're both things. Strength, strength or power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your raw power, which is going to be strength. Yeah, I understand how that was. Use confusing. your size. Uh, challenge level for this pulling uh, Celestia out of the mud is going to be a three. That's only two. That's oh, two. So goodness. I will spend a knack. Oswald clutch knack. <laughs> Oswald, in a moment of. Rapid thinking manages to, before slipping, steady himself, his foot on that rotten bit of wood and hold on long enough for Celestia to pull herself free from the mud and you, clamber out. Do you want to do the, this, the sound effect? Because you're really good at it. Yeah, almost. you are really good at it. <laughs> what, pulling you out of the mud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh -oh, ah. The audio... Now I'm even more disgusting, potentially, but hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Quick, let us see about freeing the others. Yes, I, I yes, fear please. that Hendrax might... Before he gets uh, too relaxed down yeah, there. <laughs> too chill. It's not like a bath. Do not submerge yourself. 
What would you like to, how would you like to attempt to free them? Same deal again, Branch. Get Hendrax out if he's happy to grab it. Stick Branch. Okay, how would you like to help in that? Who's the, who's the chief brancher? <laughs> All right, let us compare notes. <laughs> shall, shall we? Uh, I am quite powerful. Uh, I don't know if you have the same amount of power. Well, you can just power, uh, join on and out. out. Oh, sure. I will lead the, the... So can I get you to make a raw power check, mm-hmm. just power? Yep. And any successes are going to be added to the dice pool of Mario. I think this is the second time I've innately mm. gone to the same assist system. Okay. Two, three. And Wait. goes Oh, no, you don't have to roll that. You're rolling the same dice as you did before, which was acuity <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, You're not assisting yeah. yourself. No, no, no. no. Oh. So you now roll your acuity I, and strength, but other. you get two extra dice. Right. Oh, I yeah. see. Not successes, two extra dice. Uh, because as you've been helped. Celestia Celestia is successes. basically tugging you yeah. around the belly and yeah. pulling you back while you do it with some strength. All right. Um, um, acuity strength. What was the challenge level? It was three. Three. Well, it's going to be four to get Katori and Hendrax out because they're much uh, more stuck. Oops. That Did you get you two extra dice? There. Nope. So that was three That's successes. Three successes. And where's your extra dice? That's That's all of them. That's terrible. You got two extra dice, though. Yeah. Oh. So there's now seven oh. there. Oh. oh. That's awful. You should it have is. you should have rolled better. I'm sorry. One, two, three. <laughs> you could use another net. No, I cannot. Can you could use a No, you can't. It doesn't can, exist. You can't use two necks. Can I use a Kanak? Yeah. I, I it's a combined roll. To give you another die? No, you just always win. Success? Oh, so yeah, it'll make it pass. One. That's fine. Celestia Done. uses You can do it, Oswald. And just grits believe in the teeth, pulls out Katori. Oh, my back is with a flop. You do the slop, but do you do the slop? <laughs> yeah. Stereo. Do the slop. Uh, yeah. Are you going to help get Hendrix out? Absolutely. I will help. Uh, I will. <laughs> can we make like a good Another way? Another one? Are you just going to use power again? <laughs> yeah. is, is power the, the thing of choice? Yes. Uh, Rolf, your Look, power. I am a light. Powerful woman. If I lie woman. down with the stick and you both pick me up, uh-huh. we can use <laughs> Yeah, just use you as the An stick. extension. <laughs> Uh, okay. Katori so, rolling raw power. I'm rolling to assist? Yeah. This is all on Oswald. He's the rescuer. Uh, so Oswald, one. you have eight dice to make the same check. <laughs> Hendrax's nose is getting... I believe in you, my friend. I can't wait for your <laughs> heroic <laughs> rescue. God. I really can't believe that bastard... Ah. Oh, three. Three. I, I, can I use my yeah, snack? Yeah, you can. <laughs> wow, I'm making everyone burn their resources. <laughs> I really Things can't believe as, 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 as the like pole is like being pushed into Hendrix's face and like pushing his face <laughs> deeper below the surface. Um, I really can't believe that that awful strick rum, the unpleasant, is wearing your first breastplate, Oswald. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! And, and stick. he grabs the stick, Thank and you. with Katori's massive, yes, massive pull, there's a. I got you. Nice. As Hendrax nice. daintily flies out, does a little backflip in the air, and lands. Of course. Wonderful. Thank you for the rescue, everyone. Mm. My skin feels rejuvenated. I'm not a day over three hundred. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Can you perhaps tell us more about this? I can't remember his name. Sorry, it was too fantastic. Chrome. And and there's a waft of purple haze floats through the area. You just see, like, the the purple lines just get inhaled up into Hendrax's nose and all of yours. And then he's just like, sorry, I honestly can't remember anything. Okay. Do do whatever it lasts. You're fine. We're okay? Okay. Oh. I'm sure I'll be able to deliver more tidbits about whatever you were talking about randomly without context throughout the (laughs) remainder of our adventure. This seems a rather convenient thing to have happened to you. Well, I did foreshadow that it was a strange fog that affected your memory. Oh, did you? Okay, I forgot Uh, that part. (laughs) We should have asked for all the questions before (laughs) then. Probably. And meanwhile, (laughs) far away, in a hidden place, twirling his goatee. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I've got them in five and a half hours. I will go and check their bloated corpses in the mud and I will be victorious again. And with that, Strekrom twirls his goatee again and thinks about how his impending victory, having drowned our adventuring party in a puddle of mud in the slowest, slowest unmonitored uh, murder <laughs> possible. Slow death. And back in the real world, the fire goes out. Dylan closes <sighs> his notes. Uh, so it's getting kind of late. Uh, we can pick up on Strekrom uh, when we next play, I guess. Maybe tomorrow if you want to. Oh, that was yeah. so what? I hate he's that so dude. Evil. I mean, he's so dumb. Yeah, he's, all, he's <laughs> I, kind, I agree. He's kind of meant to be. He's kind of like Starscream. Like he's just like <laughs> he's like the loser second right. in command who's always trying. But I, I yeah. can't. I, I mean, this sounds kind of mean to me, but I, I can't wait to make more fun of him because it's kind of fun. oh, that's half the point. Oh, like great. totally, yeah, great. completely make fun of him. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's like super powerful, but also extremely inept. It's yeah. perfect. Great. Um, so anyway, uh, bunk situations. You boys ride in the. Uh, the little one. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. Oh, I, thought I mean, I was going. We we could just do the head to toe thing, right? Like the the like, you know, because we're just, both sleeping in the same. I tent. mean, I the just thought you all boys in the middle, would. Callum. I yeah. thought you boys would share. What? What you thought we'd share the little one? Well, no, the boys like all all of you. I, oh yeah, bring that yeah, one of course, me. right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I, no, sorry. we we. I just thought because they're little, they would take the little one. But you know what? Really, that's a great idea. We will what? all share the two-person tent. I will sleep in between you two boys, uh, so you're not afraid of your toes and your teeth touching or whatever weird, uh, whatever that was. And you can have the solo that, one, right? That's okay. Yeah, it's kind of crap, but it's fine. Oh, I I don't mind the camping experience, right? <laughs> Awesome. As long as yeah. everyone's comfortable. Um, I mean, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Would, you, I, would yeah. you prefer yeah. a different uh, arrangement, uh, Callum? Uh, 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 it's fine. Nah, smelling feet sucks. It's fine. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, it'll be a bit of a squeeze. Um, don't worry. Can't wait. I'll keep you safe. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the morning when we maybe yeah. play again. It'll be fine. Like, it's camping. It's we can cramp. It'll be it'll be fun. It'll be different. It'll be right, Camel. And as the boys, uh, my brother really stinks. Right? <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> as the boys uh, pile into the tent, really they get a the waft room. of sixteen-year-old boy who's oh been God. running around in the sun all day, uh, wearing a jacket. Open the tent. And no door. shirt. In a lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, it, and they they all climb in together, and then like lovely sort of pristine and prissy Callum, uh, Melvin, well kept are just like stuck with the festy Dylan um, in and that's between a, them yeah just <laughs> crammed in between them like stinky Aww. socks with holes in them yeah. older brother the worst situation I'm not gonna lie Callum I'm sleeping I was putting on a brave face it was good it was fine until now <laughs> yeah and there we go that is our episode thank you everyone for watching thank you so much to our patrons who are scrolling along the screen they're the having patrons. a jaunt a little adventure look at them I, I can see Look them. Look at them go. I can definitely see them, all of them right now. Oh, oh, I like that one. It's Tickle Duck. <gasps> wow. Thanks, Tickle Duck. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to all our patrons. And thank you very much to Legend Wait, Keeper there... for powering mm. the adventure of Call to Quest. I have actually been using Legend Keeper since episode one of Call to Quest. It's true. Um, He's very excited about it. you randomly found it. Like, you were just yeah, like, yeah. 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 I, I searched it specifically because I wanted to find a campaign manager yeah. tool that worked for me. If your brain is like Dave brain <laughs> and you need that balance of like UI in the background, uh, really easy to use, really smooth and doesn't feel like you're hand coding a website to make your, your campaign managed. Uh, yeah, check, check it out. out. Thank you very much for watching everyone. And uh, if you liked it, like it. If you subscribed, do it again. Actually, don't because then you unsubscribe. But if you do accidentally yes, do. unsubscribe, mm -hmm. resubscribe mm -hmm. again, turn on notifications. You too Leave can be like the 0.4% of yes, people who get notifications. Hi. Yeah, say hi to nice. us in the comments. And uh, if, you're in, if you're in YouTube chat, um, guess what? Hi. 